This conference will now be recorded. Thank you. All right. I want to welcome everybody to our first meeting of the year, uh, January 7th, uh, 2021. And what a pleasure to say that. Um, and this is a go to meeting. Uh, we're going to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, and just before we do, um, normally we ask to take a moment of silence for. Um, you know, certain people, certain, you know, uh, professions, etc. But I'd really like you to think about the words of this pledge and think about what happened yesterday in our country and know that anyone that bought that flag in there disgraced our flag yesterday. Um, this is there for the United States of America and not for the rebellion of America. So. A stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and visible liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, we're going to start. I know that it says public input first, but we start with the um, okay, we can start. Anyone got anything to say on public input? Okay, so much for that. All right, let's do the um, the reorg. So, um, I'm going to make the motion. I'm going to need a second to appoint um, Councilman Tom Burke as the deputy supervisor with a salary of $1,200 a year stipend. I need a second. I'll make that second. Thank you very much, uh, my former deputy supervisor. I appreciate that. Um, Desiree, can you please take a roll call? Yes, I can. Supervisor Palermo. Yes. Councilman Burke. Yes. Councilman Etzel. Yes. Councilwoman Hernandez. Yes. Councilman Hunter. Yes. Okay. Meetings, official newspaper and mileage and restaurant reimbursement. I'm going to need a motion and a second to hold regular meetings of the town board in the town hall on the first and third Thursdays of each month at 7.30 p.m., unless otherwise, obviously, with the go-to meetings. Um, and the town board will hold a work session on the Monday preceding each town board meeting at 7.30 p.m. If a work session were to fall on a holiday, it will be held on a Tuesday. I'd like to make one correction to that um, because I'm going to make the motion and that the work sessions would start at seven o'clock rather than 730. So I'm amending that motion. Can someone give me a second? I'll second that. All right. Is there any discussion? Okay. Desiree, please. Supervisor Palermo. Yes. Councilman Burke. Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilwoman Hernandez? Yes. Councilman Hunter? Yes. How do you do that if your lips don't move? Desiree? Who, me? She's delayed. My lips are moving. L like when I'm watching it, I hear the voices, yeah. but your lips are moving. <laughs> I, think, I think there's a second delay or something isn't there there's got to be because i'm just watching i'm saying yeah there's a delay okay very good okay i need a motion and a second to accept the following that the middletown times held record be designated as the official newspaper for the town of woodbury members of the town government and employees when on official business or duty for the town shall be paid at a rate of 56 cents per mile um, for the use of their car, the rate includes gas, wear and tear of the vehicle, 
and the maximum food allowance per day when employees attend a conference is $75 and no alcohol beverages will be reimbursed. I need a motion and a second. A motion. I'll make that motion. I think Tom seconded it. Bob, Bob seconded it. No, Bob, I'm sorry. Bob. Um, Desiree, please. Supervisor Palermo. Yes. Councilman Burke. Yes. Councilman Etzel. Yes. Councilman Hernandez. Yes. Councilman Hunter. Yes. Okay. I need a motion and a second to schedule the police commissioners meetings to be held on the third Monday of each month as needed. And if the third Monday turns out to be a holiday, um, I would request that we would use it to do it the next day. So I need a motion and a second. I'll make that I'll make motion. Oh, I'll second. Sorry. Thank you, Bob. Desiree, please. Supervisor Palermo? Yes. Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. Councilman Hunter? Yes. Okay. I'll need a motion and a second to agree to the objectives of the investment policy of the town of Woodbury are to minimize risk to ensure that investments mature when cash is required and to ensure a competitive rate of return. In accordance with this policy, the supervisor is authorized to invest town funds, which are in excess of the current operating needs. The town's investments are governed and applicable to New York state laws. Supervisor, is do I got to read all these investments or no? No, no, you can usually we just say to adopt the investment policy as presented. Okay, I'll go for that. Okay. Uh, I need a motion and a second. I'll make the motion. Tom. I need a second. I'll second. Okay. I think that was Tyler. Supervisor Palermo? Yes. yes. Super Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. Councilman Hunter. Yes. And for those who want to read through the entire investment policy, as with anything else that's in this document that we're doing tonight, uh, it is on the town's website. Okay. Um, we're going to the appointments now. Um, do we do them all at one time, Desiree, or should we do them individually? Uh, Joe, someone? They're, they're prepared as a we collective have, resolution. Um, we've usually done them all at once, but if... Okay. No, no, that's fine. I'm just asking. And if anyone wants to talk about it after the second, they can talk about it. Okay. I need a motion and a second to make the following appointments. Michael Mazuka of the Parks and Recreation Committees with a term to expire on 12-31-2027. Philip Sabatelli to the Parks and Recreation Committee with the term due to expire 12-31-2022. Patricia Coogan to the Library Board with a term to expire 12-31-27. Elan Ludwig to the Library Board with a term to expire 12-31-2008. John Smith to the Library Board with the term due to expire 12 31 2021. Philip Nask to the Beautification Committee with a term due to expire 12 31 2007. 2027, sorry. And Rosemary Morello to the Board of Assessment Review with a term due to expire 9 30 2025. Um, I will make that motion. I need a second. I'll, I'll second, second it with one correction. You said okay. 2008 for Elaine Ludwig. 2028. 28. 2028. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I corrected it, but okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. Okay, any discussion? Okay, roll call, please. Supervisor Palermo? Yes. Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. Councilman Hunter? Yes. Okay, consultants. Wait, wait, wait. I had a quick question. Were the um were were all of the can the people that uh, applied were they all notified already? Um, I have not had the opportunity to send anything out because I've been away and stuff. But um, we will send that out. Desiree, did you want to say I, something? Yeah, yeah. I usually send letters after you make the appointments because okay. sending them beforehand that it, that if something goes wrong is kind of right. Yeah, I appreciate I just, that. Yeah, I just want to. Yeah. Okay, so you'll do it, right, Desiree? Yes, and I also send letters okay. to those that did not get appointed, thanking them for applying. Thank Beautiful. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Desiree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, consultants. Um, a, I need a motion and a second to designate Joseph McKay with the law firm of Katina, Mahone, Milligram, and Ryder, PLLC. Is that still with Milligram? I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. I, I, it's okay that. No, I'm asking Joe. He said to leave. It's um, Mil Milligram is yes, no longer in the title. I know. I know. I'll make um, the motion. And Ryder as general legal counsel. And I did speak to um, Mr. McKay, and their uh, fee schedule will remain the same as it was for last year. And I I'll did, I know it was a little late, but I did circulate a letter to the board. And there's no change in the rates for this year. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, I need a motion and a second. I'll, I'll second. Uh, Jackie made the motion. I'll second. Okay. I made it like three times. I'm like, I'll make it. I'll make it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll go on to the next one. Oh no, we'll we'll vote on these separately. Um, Desiree, please. Yes, Supervisor Palermo. Yes. Councilman Burke. Yes. Councilman Edsel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. Councilman Hunter? Yes. Okay. I need a motion okay. and a and second. Just, what is the name of the, what is the name of the law um, firm? So I have it correctly for the minutes. I think it's Katania. Kit Go ahead, Joe. Katania, Mann, Joe? and Ryder. Milligram okay. is so we just get um he's deceased actually. A judge now. Oh oh he, right. sorry. He passed. Right. Okay. I need a motion and a second to designate Al Fusco engineering as the engineers for the town. And he too sent in a paper. I, Clara, did you put that up on the webpage? Yes, I did. Thank you. Uh and once again his fees did not change either for the year. Um, so I'll make that motion. I need a second. I'll second. Thank you, Tom. Is there any discussion? Okay. Desiree, please. Supervisor Palermo? Yes. Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Councilman Hunter. Yes. Okay. Uh, I need a motion and a second to designate Tom McDonough with the law firm of uh, Jackson Lewis as our labor attorney. He, I haven't seen anything come in yet and paper, but he did speak to me um, that the rate was going from 275 to 300 an hour. Um, so I want you to be aware of that. Um, I'll make the motion to accept it. So I have a second. I'll second that. Thank you. Desiree, please. Supervisor Palermo? Yep. Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. Councilman Hunter? Yes. Okay. 
I need a motion and a second to make the following committee assignments. And I did add two assignments to this, which would be the um, Monroe Woodbury uh, School District, which would be um, Councilman Tom Burke and Councilman Tyler Etzel. And then I added um, the uh, Cornwall School District, which would be uh, Jackie Hernandez and um, Councilman Bob Hunter. Got the family visitor program is Councilman, Councilwoman Hernandez and Councilman Etzel. The fiscal advisory is Councilman Etzel and Councilman Burke. The library liaisons is Councilman Burke and Councilwoman Hernandez. <coughs> Insurance is Councilman Burke and Supervisor Palermo. The business improvement district will be Councilwoman Hernandez and Councilman Burke. And your first assignment is to make sure that those assessments go up. Um, refuse would be Councilman Hunter and Supervisor Palermo. Parks Department is Councilman Etzel and Councilman Burke. Police Department is Councilman Etzel and Councilman Burke. Employee Relations is Councilwoman Hernandez and Councilman Burke. The pre-disaster mitigation planning is Councilman Hunter and Councilwoman Hernandez. Village liaison is Councilman Etzel and Councilwoman Hernandez. Buildings and grounds is Councilman Etzel and Councilman Hunter. And the intermunicipal water council is Councilwoman Hernandez and Supervisor Palermo. So I need a motion and a second, please. Well, I guess I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? Um, Tom motioned, but his he was on mute. Oh, okay, Tom. Sorry about second. that. I hit it by mistake. I make the motion. And I'll okay. second the motion. Thank you. That's right, please. Supervisor Palermo. Um. Uh, yes. Councilman Burke. Yes. Councilman Etzel. Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. Councilman Hunter? Yes. I would like to also mention, um, as for those of you who follow us um, intimately, uh, we no longer have the cable vision uh, that has gone over to the village. And so from now on, when you have a cable problem and you want to make a call, you can call the village up now. Okay, procurement policy. I need a, a motion and a second to adopt the procurement policy as follows. Do I gotta do the whole thing? Just say as, as presented. As presented tonight at the um, reorg meeting. I need a motion and a second. I'll make the motion. Thank you, second. I'll second that. Thank you, Bob. Um, Desiree, please. Supervisor Palermo? Yes. Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. And Councilman Hunter? Yes. And I will mention that it has been upgraded um, to now include Jill Solo of the uh, courts and um, our new town uh, town tax collector, Karen Poggio. Wow. <laughs> you gave her my job. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 the senior center with Michelle Cogan and uh, Shaquin Michelle. Uh, where am I? Minutes. This policy shall be reviewed annually by the town board at its organizational meeting or as soon thereafter at its reasonable, reasonably practical. So I guess that's the end of it, right? Good. All right. Go on to our administrative business. I need a motion and a second to uh, approve the December 17, 2020, Town Board Minutes. Make my motion. I'll second okay. it. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Bob. Um, Desiree, please. Yes. Supervisor Palermo? 
Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. Councilman Hunter? Yes. I'm, I'm laughing, I'm sitting here smiling because I'm watching you and I see your lips move. I don't hear anything. It's, like, it's delayed. It's great. <laughs> okay. Um, I have I very slow internet up here on the mountain, so. It's all right. I need a motion and a second. To, well, it's got to travel a long way now. That's all. Uh, to accept the minutes of uh, December yeah. 30th, 2020. I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second the motion. Thank you. That's right, please. Supervisor Palermo? Yes. Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Councilman Hunter? Yes. Okay. Um, abstract number one for the year 2021, Desiree, please. Vouchers number 21001 through 210037, totaling $127,657.59. Okay. Do I have a motion and a second? I'll, I'll make, make the motion. A second. Okay. Desiree, please. Stupid. Supervisor Palermo? Yep. Councilman Burke? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Uh, Etzel? Yes. Councilman Hernandez? Yes. Okay. Councilman Hunter? Yes. All right. New business. We need to appoint the delegate for the Association of Towns. Um, Desiree, that's an all virtual meeting this year. Would you like to do that again? It is. Okay. If you'd like me to, I would. But you do need a you do need an alternate because the previous alternate cannot be the alternate anymore. I understand. Um, I'll do the alternate. Um, so okay. uh, I need a motion to um, appoint um, the town clerk Desiree Podvin um, to be our delegate for the Association of Towns and Supervisor Frank Palermo to be the alternate. I'll make the motion. Okay, Desiree, please. Yes. Supervisor Palermo. Yes. Councilman Burke. Yes. Councilman Etzel. Councilman yes. Hernandez. Yes. Councilman Hunter. Yes. <laughs> okay, last that I need. Better. Yes, I need a motion okay. and a second to um, accept the resignation of Aaron Finnery, Finnery as a part-time dispatcher, effective Monday, January 4, 2021. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Okay, Desiree, please. <laughs> Supervisor Palermo. Yes. Councilman Burke. Yes. Councilman Etzel. Yes. Councilman Hernandez. Yes. yes. Councilman Sir. Yes. Desiree, okay. you were last time. You had it going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're at. If you guys um, say it timely, because there's such a delay from my side to you that I, I don't know. I try and. It actually worked. You said it so quickly. It actually was part of our time. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, board member uh, comments, uh, Jackie. Um, and I'll I, be right back. Two seconds. Go ahead. I just want to. Um, I, I, I'm very. I'm very happy that I was able to uh, spend three years as the uh, deputy supervisor. I'm excited that um, Tom's going to be taking that responsibility this year. It gives me a nice invited break um as far as the new year i just want to wish everybody a happy new year and uh we look forward to um a good year a good year ahead of us as far as our town departments and uh the community so that's my comment
Tom, if you have any questions. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. All right. Um, Bob, Councilman Hunter. I think he thought you were going to be longer, Jackie. I did. <laughs> I really did. Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> That's right. Tell me. Keep it, keep it short and sweet. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you? Mm. Uh, Councilman you know, Hunter? Just when you think things can't get worse, they do. And uh, uh, I'm just appalled by what happened here yesterday. Mm. And you know what? I'm so glad that we're going to get some intelligence back in the White House. And we got to keep after our leaders to do the right thing because I was so disgusting. And I hope that they can arrest as many of those people as possible and throw away the key. I think we need to bring back um, old business because uh, we really don't cover old business the way we should. As a suggestion, I think we should do that. Okay, Doc, uh, Bob. Okay, yeah, I'll stop putting it in. I'll just yeah, put we, it in, and if someone has something to talk about on old business, it'll be there. Right. How's that? Yeah, anything okay. that we haven't talked about in a while. So I think it's a good idea. Thank That's you. it for me. Okay. Um, Tyler. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. I want to thank Jackie for being a great deputy supervisor. I know she put a lot of time into it and a lot of effort, and we all appreciate it very much. Thank we'll you. miss her, but we'll, not really, because she'll still be there and probably doing just as much as she did before. And uh, welcome, Tom, to his new position. And we expect great things, so... <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year to everyone, and yes, let's um, be thankful that our democracy survived yesterday. That's all I got. Thank you, uh, Tyler. Um, Mr. Deputy Supervisor. Yep. Good all time. right. I put my glasses on for this one. First, I want to um, I want to thank Frank for um, uh, having the confidence in me and in. in um, appointing me to the deputy uh, supervisor position. Um, uh, taking Jackie's place is not, you know, it's not something that is um, something I would, would be um, saying it's going to be impossible to, to do what she did. She just does an awesome job from my first year on the town board to work so closely with Jackie. She's just fantastic. So um, for this opportunity this year, uh, I agree, greatly appreciate it. And uh, I plan on working really hard. Um, for the town and for everybody. And um, of course, with the board being the same as it is, everybody's here in place. I feel the same way about everybody. We work well together and uh, we're going to continue to get, uh, you know, what we want to accomplish, we're going to do it. And of course, uh, uh, everybody who works with us in the town, um, Clara too, with her, her, all the work she does and, and uh, all the other ladies, and especially Desiree, she's a great asset to me. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, with that said, I'd like to just move along with a couple of comments. Um, I want to acknowledge the past and uh, present um, committee members that, um, that were were chosen this time around, and also the ones that were removed, you know, that were replaced uh, for all their work and all their efforts um, for the in the parks and the library uh, committees. Um, they they were all. You know, in their own way, were very special, and they did a great job. Um, but we're looking for, we were looking for um, fresh ideas, and um, that's hopefully that that'll work out good for all of us. Um, we had a we had a situation this past weekend um, up at the Reds where we had a, um, a electrical smoke condition, and um, 911 was called by a resident up at the Res when I was up there. And very quickly, the um, the the Woodbury um, Fire Department responded within f two or three minutes. They were there, and uh, I want to you know acknowledge what they did by showing up and how they took care of it. Uh, I also called Joe G and Zero. He was there immediately. So for that, um, you know, it just goes to show you what we're all the people that we have here in our community, and I want to mention that. Um, also. Um, we um, 
Um, Frank, you got to mute. There's a lot of feedback. On me? Might be the fire. What do I have on? Might be the fire. <laughs> That's the only thing Might I got on. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. I want to um, take a moment to mention um, <clears throat> the community. We, we suffered a terrible loss this, the, just a couple of days ago. Um, Mr. Ben Myers' uh, wife passed on. Um, he was the Woodbury um, Gazette for so many years, and uh, he was just, they were just two wonderful people. And unfortunately, uh, we lost her just, just this past week. So um, my condol our condolences, I guess, my condolences especially go out to the Myers family. And um, it was just uh, something. Maybe everybody can keep it in their thoughts and prayers. Um, okay, um, finally, I spent some time in the town hall today, and I was working closely with Eileen Sutherland because now that I'm with the fiscal with Tyler, um, I just uh, went over a few things with her, um, and we were looking at the B fund, and I thought it was something I wanted to mention. Uh, from the third quarter, all we received everything from the third quarter. Um, we're expecting what we're expecting from the fourth quarter. It looks like what was budgeted. We're going to have a uh, shortfall of uh, which of, of about twenty thousand, which is really good, uh, which is good news. Um, also, uh, all salaries in the police department have now been finalized, and there's a total um, of a large number. I don't want to give the number publicly, but there's a large number unspent in the communications and police salary lines, which is really. Uh, you know, I just want to compliment uh, Chief Watson for what he did this past year and his oversight with the police budget. I worked with him. Uh, he took the time with me back in the beginning of the year and, you know, everything was discussed. He just it was just followed through and it was great to see that. And just just today going over the numbers. So I just want to thank him. He does an outstanding job. Um, also, all the departments that we have have remaining balances, which I think is pretty good, you know, for this this year, based on what we've all been through. And um, all the bills, um, all play, all orders placed in 220 have not been billed, will be charged back to 220, which is, you know, this is work, they're doing great work there. And I want to, you know, also acknowledge Eileen Sutherland, because I think that the job she does and all the other ladies, but I want to thank Eileen for spending so much time with me today. Um, other than that, welcome back, Joe McKay. Looking forward to another good year with him, and that's what I have. But uh, thank you very much. That's good. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Um, uh, town clerk, Desiree Potvin. Thank you. Um, I really want to say the Packers are number one, but we'll go on to something more important for some people. Uh, I just want to thank Jackie and Tom and Councilman Hernandez and Councilman uh, Burke for um, working on the pandemic response plan. Hey, there's the there's the face mask. Is that what you left mm -hmm. the room to go get? Yeah, <laughs> uh, it wasn't my fault. Working on the pan. Oh, there you go. Uh, working on the pandemic response plan uh, with me as well as Clara and Joey and Kevin Phillips. Um, <laughs> thanks, Kevin. This sent me a text saying go Packers, maybe. Um, I have this, the, Jackie and Tom are working really hard on it. Um, Tom just joined on since he's deputy supervisor now and, and Jackie and um, I think uh, the two of them and the, and the other people on the committee like I said, myself, Joe and Clara and Kevin Phillips, I think the, the six of us are going to come up with a great plan that we're required to do so and adopt. You guys have to adopt it by April 1st. It has to go to the unions by February 4th. I think we're getting pretty good with it. We're almost done. I think it should hopefully be done by, if not by the end of next week, the end of the following week. Um, but I just want to say that I'm enjoying working with the two of them on it, as well as the other members on that committee. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> well, I got <laughs> That's a preview of what it's going to be like at our next board meeting, um, because as you remember, in the beginning of the year, Desiree and I have always had a long time um, um, relationship in, in, in a good way, 
um, with the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. And the way the bet goes is the team that loses the series, which would be both games, the other person has to come up with something of the other team. And so this year's bet was that the loser would wear the other team's face mask. So, well, you know, it's the good thing about it is I'm expecting the Bears to play them in the semifinals. And then when we beat them, it'll all be worth very much. <laughs> um, that would be Mr. awful. McKay, <laughs> Mr. McKay. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. I just wanted to thank the board uh, for reappointing the firm. Um, I was looking through a little bit of the history uh, recently, and the firm's been representing the town of Woodbury now for more than 25 years. And as we go into next year, I personally will be starting, I think, my 11th year representing the board. Yeah, when and I first came I, on. I enjoy the, the tremendous professional uh, relationships that we all have. And really, it's just a, a reaffirmation, uh, uh, some uh, a vote of confidence for me personally and the firm generally. And I, I want to thank everyone on the board. Sometimes you'd start to take for granted, you know, um, and then you realize you shouldn't take things for granted. So thank you. Okay. Um, okay. With that, um, I want to congratulate um, Mr. Burke for accepting the job of deputy supervisor. Um, and I want to thank Jackie for uh, being there for me for the last three years. Um, she has made my job so much easier and I do appreciate everything you've done, even when you would come up and yell at me for something, but that's fine. I'm a big boy, I can take it. Um, but no, in, in all seriousness, you've, you've been very invaluable to me and I'm looking for the same thing with Tom. I, I, but Tom, we didn't tell you how much you're gonna have to work now. I told Jackie to keep her mouth shut, not to tell you. So expect well, to do a lot of work, over, dude. I, I tried to go over seven minutes, but uh, so I can keep talking to us. But I'll, I'll work on it. But I do have to. I wait a minute. I do have to chime in with one thing though, because I did forget something, and I don't want to. I don't want to leave it out. I don't think. I think the rest, of the other board members, might recall that we received uh, an email um, from one of the residents in Woodbury regarding um, the care that um, her son received from one of our police officers, um, Detective Harding. And um, without getting into the names right now, but I, I just want to mention that we received, and if anybody else wants to add, they can, you know, please do, that um, their mother in our community said that her son was in, a, in some trouble and uh, she was so grateful for everything that Detective Harding did. So the, he took he took his job over and above for her and her and her family. So I want to men, uh, mention Detective Harding tonight also. Okay, um, and at this moment, um, I didn't prepare anyone for it, but I think everybody knows it. I'm going to make the announcement that um, I will not be running this year for town supervisor. I've been the supervisor for it'll be four years. Um, I've served on this board for 15, going on 16 years, and um, I'm ready to, to retire. So um, I guess that's my official announcement that I am not running. Um, and I want to wish everybody that will be running the best of luck. I have full confidence in this board um, to take over when I leave and to continue the good work that this administration has done um for the past four years or three years going on four years um i'll miss it but i'll always be a phone call away it's never a problem i probably will miss um you know with desiree and our um, chats over the um the agenda as she corrects me every week um <laughs> I will miss my calling of Joe and, and driving him crazy just for the hell of it, uh, especially when he's driving up to Maine and I can bother him while he's in the car because he can't go anywhere. Um, and, you know, and, and the rest keeps going on and on. But um, this is my official announcement. Um, 
No, I'm not dressed up in a suit or anything like that. And it happens to be, um, I don't know if anybody follows me on, on Facebook, but this is the uh, exact date that I was sworn in in 2018. That's the first time I became a supervisor. So um, I guess this uh, January 7th is going to be a, a, a landmark day for myself. So um, it is official now. I won't be running. Um, and I wish those who do run the best of luck and you'll have my, my full support. Um, now to move on. Um, at the next board meeting, we will be doing a resolution. Um, to I spoke with um, I spoke with Christine at in um, Senator Scoofus's office about the grant uh, for the courthouse. Um, she said to me that we can go ahead and spend the money, provided that we do not take out a loan or a bond for it. Uh, as long as we're taking it from our budget. Um, it can be repaid. It wouldn't disqualify us. I also got the news that we don't know if those things are going to be coming through because the, the state is in, um, is in large financial trouble. But we do have that money in a building account. And um, so I, we have no intentions of building a town hall that I know of. Uh, I don't know of any other buildings that we intend to build right now. And rather than let that money sit, I think it's time to fix that courthouse up because it's been overdue for probably 50 years now. Uh, so I think it's something to move on with. And so, Joe, you'll prepare that resolution for us, um, you know, because it, it, it is uh, through a permissive referendum. So um, so that's that. Uh, I'll probably get a, a close amount as to what it will be, Joe, and then I'll get back to you. Um, and uh, I want to thank, as Tom say, our department heads. They will all finish in the black. And that's a tribute to all our department heads who um, heeded the warning that we were going to have a little problem this year with income coming in. And um, they did a great job. So I personally want to thank each and every one of them for making our job a lot easier. Um, I've congratulated you, Tom. And so with that, I um, want to wish everybody a happy new year, um, a healthy and a safe one. And uh, let's go Bears. <laughs> with that, I need a motion and a second to close. <laughs> Make motion. I got a second. Does Desiree want to second that or no? <laughs> With that? No, no, not really. I'll second. I'll second. <laughs> okay. With that, um, everybody in favor? Aye. Thank you, everybody. And I really Have do a good appreciate night. I do appreciate these Thursdays. Take care. And by the good way, night. I'm glad